Most people in the world today have certain food preferences. We also have certain food companies that we adore. We don't automatically say, oh, I love this food company when people try to share with us some food. We also don't automatically hate a company just because they have morons for employees. And every year we see a different batch of people going through the concept of, I'm going to get a job today, but then they end up with some sort of ill ease in their mind. You see, work in the world is about working. And if we have children that are raised in households where they never have to do much of anything in terms of earning in their family with doing chores and helping the family to thrive and survive in, turning, taking, in terms of taking turns cooking or doing their own laundry or producing life skills, then we might have a problem today. You see, the future of America is crazily in the hands of our children and how they develop and how they grow. And every community has different morals and different values of what is and isn't a success. It's very possible that we do have a disparagement between how we treat men and how we treat women in terms of how we rear boys versus how we rear girls. But what I can tell you is that most boys are super sensitive even though they won't say or admit that they are. Children don't really reach the age of mental maturity of adulthood we know from scientific studies in terms of how the brain grows until about age 24. If the child has any special learning deficiencies or special learning needs, it might take a little longer. We also have people who like to pretend to be people in a line to check a store to see whether or not their employees are doing things right. A lot of people do not understand the costing of a vendor relationship and that in order for purchasing to make the correct purchases for a store, they have to have accurate information about what products do and don't sell. Even if there's a different color or a slightly different style of a product, it has a different product vendor code with that corporation in which you have that strategic alliance and that profitable partnership. Most food in a grocery store and other places I don't believe is actually automatically purchased up front, but I could be totally wrong because I'm not an expert in that. I just know what my late father told me about certain things. That sometimes in places, product vendors put their product in and then they get compensated when something is sold. But what I do know is important to most companies, regardless of what type of industry it represents, whether it's food, whether it's restaurant costing, or whether it's some sort of box shop, office shop, or anything like that, is that corporations really want absolutely excellent inventories. Even from the time that I was in my 20s selling photographic retail, uh, photographic equipment and video equipment when we had 8mm and those sort of things way back when in the old days, we really still had to do inventory. And we had to be able to account for everything that we had bought and sold. There's a lot of reasons for that because we might be in debt to a corporation that we have this alliance with and it's a multi-million dollar deal because think about it. They are buying, the purchasers are buying food or product or pens or paper or whatnot from companies, a whole bunch of different companies and they have to pay those companies for the products vended. They also have to know what is really working for their company in terms of selling versus what doesn't really sell a whole lot. So then they have to be able to establish the difference between do I have a low volume of this or a high volume of that. Most snack shops are really good at restocking and rebuilding their stock of foods that get bought. But sometimes we lose customers before customers really understand the full value of our establishment. Meaning sometimes people don't realize that there's a freezer case in a Dollar Tree that you can go and get some pretty good food deals for your family. At the same time, some people always run in and out for the same things, so they might not realize that your product vendorship has expanded and you've got now better name brands in the store. And I don't mean better, I just mean more diverse or more publicly known. They might be coming in smaller value volumes, but sometimes that's exactly right for packing in a child's lunch or in an after-school snack before they hit for sports, and that's really great because then you know that nothing's been, in theory, tainted. We know that there are certain types of vending and certain types of packaging 
that can unfortunately be tainted not only on the outside of the package but also on the inside of the package and that is something that's a travesty and that is something that is worthwhile hearing about in a self-preservation self-protection sort of course usually you can do those type of marvelous seminars in a weekend or in a couple hour evening where the individual teaching it like me or my famous upcoming nuptial wife will be can tell you about the dangers of living in a current technologically scientifically and medically advanced world but we will also talk about the hatred brewing across America for different types of predilections, different types of religions, different types of fashions, different types of clothing, and different types of people.